channel if you're new here my name is Louise and this is the whole channel uh, I say it that way because I do have another channel uh, there'll be a link down below if you want to take a look over there I haven't been active at the moment but hopefully I'm getting there and we'll be stepping it up a little bit we'll see um, so like I said this is the haul channel so I do a haul every Saturday at five o'clock and that's my like grocery haul um, any other hauls that do come up in between you know if I do go shopping and do and purchase other things or there is a Timu coming up I know I mentioned it before but I'm obligating myself because I actually haven't recorded it yet but there will be a Timu haul on Wednesday so I'm going to record that that will be up on Wednesday so if you want to see a Timu a Timu haul Timu Timu haul there'll be one coming up on Wednesday so if you enjoy that type of thing you enjoy somebody that talks a lot because I do talk a lot um you want to subscribe there's a button down below um click the notification bell to be notified of any other hauls that I do in between because the Saturday one is the only one that I commit to so anything else could pop up any any time so if you click the notification bell you'll be notified um give me a like comment share all that good stuff i do enjoy seeing your comments um so i work on a 60 pound budget i keep looking that way because my receipts are always down there a 60 pound budget that's for me and my adult son um it's usually like top up bits because i do have freezer stuff and i still have fridge stuff so if you cut if sometimes you might look at it and think oh how are you going to make meals out of that that's why we top up um i spent 63.42 this week try, i'm going to try to remember all of it 63.42 i spent this week it's 60 pound budget but i was under budget last week so it's sort of even that's it evens out it's fine so if you do add up i will give you prices as we go along if you do add it up you'll get a different number because i always donate three items to the food bank um, and I donate in the when I'm there because there's a, a basket on the way out and I always put it in the basket and uh, yeah because if I don't they will sit here for weeks I'll keep you know one of them oh I'll pick it up and take it with me and I always forget so I just donate it straight away so the three items I don't uh, I picked up this week was um, like bolognese spaghetti a bolognese sauce and a tin of something what was it oh a tin of peaches because I just thought I haven't done tin fruit because you can't do any fresh stuff it's got to be packaged stuff stuff with a date on it you know um I don't know if that even made sense so yeah everything went fine I've got a couple of food ideas not many again uh, a couple of bits couldn't pick up um I think that's everything I'm getting good at these these beginning things aren't as long as they used to be <laughs> make the most of it it won't last um so yeah let's get on with the whole as i said um the, you know i do have things already so i didn't need to pick up things like potatoes i still got loads of them um still got loads of tomatoes i happened to find an extra packet in the fridge so um i didn't pick those type of things up um got some peppers this week because i'm gonna do like a slow cooker mexican pulled chicken type thing i'm gonna wing it because that's what I do wing it most of the time. I like a recipe occasionally, but this type, you know, slow cooker things, you can pretty much wing it most of the time. And I got the cheaper ones because the more expensive, you can get two, I've mentioned before, you get two, two price ones, um, price packets. Both got three peppers in. Um, and the other one is usually a red orange and yellow and I don't, i'm not a fan of the green ones but they were the same this time um and they weren't much bigger so i just went for the cheaper ones not that i know the price because it's been a while since i bought peppers i feel uh so this one is one pound 39 i feel like the ones that i normally would buy will be one pound 65 so it's a bit of a saving and it's only for one meal really so that was, is going to do us plenty I picked up these mini cucumbers. Now, I have a really strong feeling I've tried these before, once, possibly, but I, I don't trust my own brain at the moment. I've, I've mentioned, like, for the past few weeks that I've been having very strange dreams, um, but they're very vivid, and I think they're real, so I don't really know if it's something I dreamt or if I actually did. I mean, you can let me know, because I know a lot of you are regulars here, um, but I couldn't remember. I do have some cucumber left, and I do know that I eat cucumber and enjoy it more than I used to. 
and I just thought it would be something a little bit different. Um, I was thinking about using it as like a dippy type thing. And these were a pound. So it is more expensive than getting a big cucumber. But sometimes you just need to shake things up a bit, you know. Um, be a bit adventurous. <laughs> Mini cucumbers instead of the big one. Um, got some romaine lettuce. These are one pound fifteen. Uh, just really enjoy them. They've got the right amount of crunch to them. Um, they're better than the iceberg lettuce that's why i used to always buy and i've picked it up a few times and i just i don't know what what made me buy them before <laughs> this is the way to go for me and corey really enjoy these um and i think i'm gonna up my salad intake a little bit this week let's see how um committed i am to eating a little bit better <laughs> I bought the four pint of semi-skim milk this pretty much does this most of the time so i did get a larger one the other week um and overdid it so yeah this is the right amount and it's one pound 45 for that size got some grapes i told you last week i wanted grapes but they weren't very good they're okay ish i mean they look like grapes but the ones i got the week before so two weeks ago were like really big and they were solid uh, in texture and they were just so so good um but i just really fancied grapes again and i believe these are on 130 something I don't remember my prices very well. Oh, £1.49 for that. I got some apples. Haven't had them for a while. I used to cut them up and put them in the fridge and uh, snack on them. And I I'm thinking of cooking them and just having them with things. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, just cooked apples. Like, just warmed up cooked apples. Not like caramelised and sugars and nothing like that. Very natural. Don't know. I've been watching a lot of Instagram. You always know when I've been watching more Instagram because I come up with these weird things. I don't know what that's about, but we're going to go with it. Uh, 99p for that packet. I got another margarine just for sitting in the fridge, I guess. I have randomly been using bits and bobs of it, so we, we don't really need it. But, you know, I've mentioned before, I just don't like running out of this type of thing. It's just one of my things. Uh, this was actually only a pound, which is a pretty decent price. Now I've got some garlic. Uh, there have been a few recipes when I was thinking, oh, I wish I had garlic cloves. I'm going to actually Google how to regrow these as well. And hopefully this will be a good supply. So I was actually thinking of this the other day. So I did buy um, spring onions. Yeah, they're called spring onions in England. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Did different things in different countries. But the spring onions I bought a long, long time ago. It's going to be a while since you last saw them. Um, I still have a supply of them just because I put them in water and they keep regrowing. So I know you can do that with garlic. And I'm going to attempt to do that with one of the cloves. Or I don't know how I've got to do it. So I'd have to Google that and we'll see. Um, garlic. So this actually was 75p for three. They're not very big, but they were all pretty like that. Pretty much like that. Um, and discoloured as well. I don't know if that means they're bad. I don't think so. Anyway, 75p. Um, chicken breast fillet portions. This is £6.52 for that packet. Uh, this is going to be the slow cooker chicken Mexican, wherever it's going to end up. I uh, got a uh, different bacon this week. Now, I have been buying the cheap, cheap bacon, and it's fine. Problem is, because it's vacuum-packed, you sort of guess the size of the, the rashers. So, like, if they look like the thin ones, you assume they are. It turns out a lot of them haven't been recently, and I don't like the thicker ones. I active fry my bacon, and I'm very much into it. I haven't been for a long time, but I'm into meats in, like a normal person would be now. Um... So I went for the slightly more expensive one. Now this did have, I think, like 25p off of it. I'm just looking at the receipt because I'm really, really not good at remembering prices at the moment. £3.25 for this. And I'm sure it had like 25p or something off of it. I can't remember exactly. But £3.25 for 500 grams. So slightly more expensive than the ones I was getting. But this is more guaranteed it's going to be the thin slices. So I'm going to enjoy it more. Pepperoni. Um, random... Thing, just like putting them with you know anything not necessarily pizzas you know you can put it on a bit of toast or you can put it on a baked potato so we just like having them and we just finished the last packet uh one pound ten for that one uh where else cheese you know i like this one 400 grams this is actually two pound 55 still at the moment so it's a little bit off of what it was before i don't know if that's like a promotion price or if it's like a 
a now price I don't know but um, yeah it's pretty decent price and you know I, I, I can't really get to any other places that easily it's like a you know have to get a cab and that to any but anywhere else and I'm just begrudge paying it out so for now this is what's doing us uh, yeah um, got chicken this week uh, this is still on the deal the 400 grams was two pounds 75 for the the chickens the hams there was no turkey slices sometimes they have turkey slices as well um, yeah normally two pounds 75 but they're down to two pounds at the moment for 400 grams um, just really enjoying them and I've got myself a cottage cheese I did try uh, what was this TikTok? There's a TikTok. <laughs> I'm following TikTok now as well. Um, and uh, there's this lady who does these cottage cheese bowls. And I tried one the other day. It was like a burger cottage cheese bowl. Um, and it's got salad and stuff. And it's very, very nice. Um, so I just thought I'd pick another one up. 79p for that one. Uh, tuna chunks. Again, as I always do on all of the videos where I get the tuna, I've been um, eating this brand, uh, the Essentials one, for years. And I've only once ever found one bone and never found any scales and they're decent chunks. So I would highly recommend that. And it's only 59p. I got another coffee, uh, drinking a little bit more than usual, but it's working for me. So we're going with it. Um, when I say that, I'm still only drinking two small coffees a day. So I'm still way below the limits of being a coffee addict. Um, 99p for this one. And I've mentioned before, it is the cheap one, but it isn't bitter and I really enjoy it this is actually sort of ish christmas um don't really get custard that often but i'm thinking like maybe not necessarily christmas more winter months you know you're more likely to have maybe um a pie or something like some type of dessert possibly and uh, Corey's a fan of custard with it rather than ice cream i can take or leave either but they're actually on a deal at the moment they're one pound sixty for a can that's a lot of money. I don't remember them ever being that expensive. But they're on a deal getting two for two pounds. So I got the two. Was actually randomly thinking as it was coming out. Maybe I should try their own, like the Asda's own brand. Because as I've mentioned before, sometimes you get expensive brands. And I like to downgrade and get a cheaper one. Because sometimes they, they, they up their game. I've, there's a lot of things that I used to have the expensive ones and I have the cheaper now. Um, but I do know before the custard on the cheaper brand meaning asda mainly um was very watery whereas the ambrosia is quite creamy and thick and it's just nice so maybe i'll pick one up and give it a go soon because he's i think it's a lot cheaper barbecue sauce this is your basic barbecue sauce it's not a spicy one it's a sweet one one pound 20 um, and we don't particularly need it but Corey does like barbecue sauce that will be the sauce he would go for um, and he has sauce quite a lot so I, I just want to keep stocked up I got uh, eggs 12 medium for £2.60 uh, Corey's been actually eating scrambled eggs which is quite unusual for him um, with the muffin things I told you about last week he had so yeah just picked them up so they're there uh, I wanted to get two ready meals but I only got one this week I'll explain why in a minute normally it would be frozen and this was in the this is the fresh section. So this is a chicken bacon pasta bake. Corey said, you know, if you could get me just a couple, um, so it's in the freezer, um, and something different if you can find it. And I don't think I've ever bought this flavour pasta. It's normally plain or a meat, uh, meat feast once, I think I've ever bought that. Um, I sort of have a 150 to two pounds limit on, on the my happy price. Uh, but this was actually reduced from three to one pound 68. And I will freeze this one so it'll be a freezer meal for him. So it's just a little bit different. Got myself some pickle. All week I've been having, like, I do, I'm a sandwich person. I have been having sandwiches. And I realised I don't have any pickly things. You know, like a pickle or a pickle-lily or something. I haven't had any. So I just got this one. This is the cheap, cheerful one. But I really enjoy it. It's the consistency and the texture and the taste. And I just really enjoy it. And I think this was a pound. I'm going to double check because as I've mentioned before, I don't trust my own brain at the moment. But that was, I was right, that was a pound. I've got the fajita cooking sauce for the slow cooker meal. One pound 20. Yes. Uh, spaghetti loops, just eaten one tin, so it's just replacing it. And these are only 19p, so bargain. And these are really, really nice. I got a tomato puree as I was running out. I didn't realise I've been using this quite a lot as well. So, and actually, Corey has. So, we're, you know, we're, 
we're just trying different flavoured things at the moment and so far so good 65p for this now i got a smoked paprika uh, last week i did buy that big packet of paprika but it was a plain one and i didn't realize because i'm not massively great with spices i'm trying to do things myself rather than a recipe spices i'm trying to do things myself a little bit and i realized that i love paprika but the other one is just too mild for me so i thought i'd give this one a go and just see if this is the right one for me um and this is a pound i will use the other one still just this will add a bit more to it I've got the two cherry cokes these are 65p really really good um, as you see i haven't been buying fizzy for myself recently i'm just not into it i'm into juices so i'm going with that so yeah 65p for the cherry cokes as you know i mentioned before i shop and then haul later on so corey's already cracked into it but they are really nice if you've not tried them i got myself a cherries and berries i've been drinking still oh orange and mango very very nice one pounds now I'm thinking 110, but maybe it was 120. Squash, no, I was right, one pound 10. Uh, I've had cherries and berries for before and it's a very nice one. The container is actually bigger than it looks on the screen. They were all squashed. It's very strange, they're all very, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. I got pickled gherkins running out and oh, just eating them with everything, literally every meal, there's a gherkin on the plate. Um, one pound 70. I feel like I'm guessing a lot of these. Oh, I'm guessing okay though. One pound seventy, I was right. I've got chocolate milk, di uh, milk chocolate digestives just to go in the cupboard. I actually realised. Sorry, that was the heating that bang. Um, it is a tad chilly in here. I'm trying to warm it up just so I can move around the house. Um, Eighty-five p for these, uh, but I did realise because I cleaned out our uh, what did you call it? Sweets box or cupboard or whatever treat stuff um most of it was empty packets um but we, yeah we didn't really have many but as you you probably notice we've been buying a few packets of biscuits but not really snacky things so they've been going down we still actually do have some from our last aldi haul so they have lasted an awful long time we've just not really been eating them so much but i do want to get a little stock going um i found the yorkie ones and i think these are really nice. They got a really good chunk of chocolate on the biscuit, so you're sort of getting that really nice biscuit, but like a chocolate bar as well. Really nice. If you've not tried them, I would recommend them. I really enjoy them. And I think they're, they're on a deal at the moment because you know that I only really buy things like that when they're on a reduced price. £1.25 for those ones. Uh, pasta, just to make sure we keep stocked up. I'm not really paying attention to how much we've got, so I just wanted to make sure we have enough. And this is 41p. I got the tortilla chips. I was thinking if I'm gonna do like a pulled chicken type meal, um, this should be enough to maybe have a second meal. So we could do like uh, wraps and then nacho type thing. I got the lightly salted ones because I really enjoy these. They're 51p. And these ones have gone up now. They're a pound. They were 90p. They're up to a pound. These are the cool ones, which are garlic and tomato flavour. And they're very, very good. If you've not tried them, these are really nice. Um, again, this was one of those dream things that I've been mentioning recently. I, I literally would have gambled money that there was garlic bread in the freezer. But we cannot find it. So I'm assuming I dreamt it so there was none <laughs> so it was on my mind make sure i get garlic bread i picked up two now these are the fresh ones if you get the frozen one you can get two in a pack for a pound i believe it is um but if you get the fresh they're 37p each so you're saving money by buying two fresh ones and they can be frozen so saving money doing that now i've got the paprika pringles i've actually not checked i'm not sure if i've got these ones yet um as you know i have been buying a packet of pringles a week for christmas these are still one pound 85 at the moment um i've been getting a different flavor every week because this just we prefer crispy things to we're not going to buy the you know quality street or roses this year we, we realize that we just eat them because they're there not really because we're enjoying them so we're going to try and be more mindful about the things we buy rather than just buying things out of tradition we want to buy things that we're actually going to enjoy more so pringles are going to be our thing and i'm not sure if i've got the paprika i haven't actually checked the shelf uh, but that will add to those 
I had to get the cheaper crisps. Now, I, I've mentioned before, I prefer these anyway. I just think this slightly different texture, I, you know, could be imagining it. They could be exactly the same ones, but I prefer these. But they actually didn't have the 24 pack that I would normally get. So, um, I have to have crisps now. So it's just a thing. <laughs> I will have, like, bread and crisps. Got to have them in the house. Even if I'm not eating them, just got to have them there. These are 85p each. You get six in a bag. And there's uh, two ready salted, two salt vinegar and two cheese and onions. So you don't get the prawn cocktail ones that you would get in the larger bag. And um, Corey's highly disappointed. But <laughs> we will just make do with those for now. So that's why I picked two of them up. I got a toilet roll. Haven't bought it for a while and realised we're starting to get my stocks are going down a lot because <laughs> it has been a while since we've been buying it. So I will start buying maybe one a week for the next few weeks if I can remember. Um, and these are £2.39 and yep, it's the cheap, cheerful one, but I enjoy it. So we get that one. I got the patties again. Corey's had a few of the muffin breakfasts um, and he's had egg and he's really enjoying them. So I picked up another packet of them and they're £2.75. Now, I actually picked up the big wrap. Um, these are extra large. They're two pounds, so way more expensive than the ones I would normally buy. You only get six. But, oh, I am just not good at rolling burritos. <laughs> you know, I just, I'm, I'm going to try my best to remember to put the same amount of filling in so that I'm having the same problem. So I just thought, we'll go with a larger one, see how it goes. Um, two pounds, so yeah, a bit more expensive, but might enjoy them more who knows um so yes ready meals as i mentioned i'm just i know we're not ready meal here um this is this is what reminded me so in my asda um the whole row of freezers on one side is pizzas and ready meals and there's something wrong with them <laughs> there was literally a man inside the freezer on his hands and knees doing stuff in there so most of them broken so there was no choice luckily they had this one this is the one i would like to buy for corey anyway because he enjoys this one this is really nice i have actually tried a piece of one once just so i could let you know whether it was a yes or no type deal and i would definitely recommend this this is two pounds 45 this is the barbecue chicken and bacon pizza a cheesy stuffed crust base topped with roasted chicken breast bacon and barbecue tomato sauce so this was pure luck um, I actually would have bought myself a pizza because I did have that um, the Asda's deep pan pepperoni one that I bought their own make um, the other week and I thoroughly enjoyed it but like I said the freezers were broken and there was this and maybe two other types of pizza that weren't ones that I would even consider buying because they were silly prices um, but they didn't have any ready meals either so hence the reason I maybe would have had a, another ready meal here as well and I was just going to pick some more chips up. We do have some. And I just thought, well, let's just get a, something a little bit different. For, um, you know, shake things up. So I've got seasoned curly fries. Now, this is a 750 gram bag for £1.80. It wasn't the cheapest version, but it wasn't terribly priced. And sometimes it's nice just to have something a little bit different. So I hope you enjoyed today's haul. Um, I think I did pretty well with my money this week. It was a little bit over budget, but it was just a tinsy bit. Um, but... I'll yeah, I think I've got a decent stock of food. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going funny, but I'm fine. I'm not getting sick. Um, oh, so I was just going to show you because my Asda doesn't get these free catalogs that often, but they had one, and it's a bumper one. Like the last time, I can't remember the last time I picked one up. It's been so long, but it's a really, really big <laughs> free read and i'm excited um it's got some interesting things i haven't actually sat down and read it yet but it's got like um some christmas day oh i'm trying to get it right <clears throat> i hope you can read that it's got like some christmas day ideas like breakfast starters mains desserts grazing nibbles throughout the day leftovers what to do with your leftovers there's a stacy solomon thing in here oh look at the turkey Oh, looks so nice but I think they've done really well like that's really appealing colors and yeah I'm excited to read it so I thought I'd just let you know it is out <laughs> if you're going into your Asda free read I don't buy magazines I'm too um 
frugal i was gonna say stingy but i remember i remember you told me i'm frugal not stingy um the better word we're going with positivity right now i'm trying really hard to get out of my slump as soon as i'm out of it we i mean i've been in a better place the past day or two i'm not going to go into it too much because this is the whole channel obviously so if this is a momentum i'm going to be able to keep up then there will be footage happening on the other channel so i'm Oh, please be it please be this bit we're getting through it and i can explain all on the other channel um so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's haul um hope help prices have helped out um i hope i didn't bore anybody i uh, didn't really have many food ideas but i'm sort of winging it at the moment so i hope you're having a lovely saturday um i hope it's not too cold if you're in england i know people watching from different countries in england right now the temperatures have proper gone down there a tad hence the heating i've really tried to not use it so it's cold in here so yeah if it is cold please wrap up take care of yourself make sure you stay hydrated because i didn't realize how important hydration is as well in keeping you warm and everything um i am sending out good vibes as i always do i hope you're catching some and i will see you in the next one bye